Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to Rainbow Kids. This is the final segment of today's show. Alhamdulillah, uh, we are talking about friendship today and we are trying to find out how to choose a good friend and what makes a bad friend. Uh, I am uh, joined here with some new guests here in the studio. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, so we are back with Abdullah and we have two new guests. Uh, do you want to introduce yourself? My name is Miha. And how old are you, Simiha? I'm 10 years old. And where are you from? From Shadwell. From Shadwell, okay. Um, what other things do you like? Um, do you like sleeping? I like sleeping. <laughs> do you like eating? I like too. <laughs> Good. How about you? Um, my name is Khadija. I'm um, 10 years old and uh -huh. I live in Whitechapel. Okay, mashallah. And what do you like? Um, I like doing art. Anything else? No. So, um, is there anything particular that you like to draw? Do you like art as in drawing things or uh, painting things? What do you um, mean? Drawing. Drawing. What sort of things do you like drawing? 3D things. 3D things. Wow. You're going to be a 3D artist. Mm, I haven't right. decided yet. Okay. Uh, mashallah. Very good. Um, so, we are talking about, do you know what we're talking about today? Um, friendship. Okay. What is friendship then? Um, it's something, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is it to you? What does it mean to you? It's a bond that can't be broken by other people. It's what you decide. Okay, so it can't be broken? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> but kind of. Is there anything that can break it? Um, yeah. What could break a friendship? You. Hmm? You. I mean, the person themselves? But I'm saying, what is it that could break it? What is the action that could break it? Um, Abdullah, what do you think? Do you think friendships are so strong that they cannot be broken? No, um, friendship like is always um, limited because there's going to be a time where you're going to move on or you find out this person that you're friends with isn't what you actually think it is or probably um, they might move on to different works. Like right now, I'm a child and I'm in secondary school and I have friends, but then when I grow up, we might split apart. Although we can still communicate, yeah. but we still won't have that same relationship same, and bond. Yeah. So the like friends that you see now may not be friends in 10 years' time. Yeah, yeah the yeah. friends that you make in 10 years' time may not be the ones you don't even know right now. Khadija, can you see what he's saying? I think, I think he's, he makes a good point. What do you think? Yeah. He makes a good point, right? Yeah. So <laughs> friends, you can have friends. You can have really close friends, but the bond that you have with a friend can be broken, I think. What if they do something uh, un-Islamic, something that Islam doesn't like? Would you still be a friend? Or, I mean, if they, if they say they don't like Islam anymore, what, what are you going to do? First of all, you wouldn't try and um, like just leave them. Yeah. First of all, you'd try and persuade them. You'd try and um, inform them and correct them because... Yeah. They've made a mistake and we're all human, so we all make mistakes. Okay, that's another we're good trying point. trying to get them yeah. back. So what if they purposely, do, I mean not purposely, say they repeatedly do something. Um, for example, uh, they miss Salah, so you are out playing, you all pray and they don't join you in Salah. Um, if this is like, like a one-off occasion, you can tell them, um, you can tell them in a nice manner mm. that what's um, like, that we have to pray um, praying his father is compulsory and if they do not listen you could go on to not a harsh way but you could yeah. s start saying the outcome like what will happen if you do not yeah. pray and yeah. then if they do not f um, do anything from that you'd either want to tell someone of a high authority about it to try and persuade them yeah. or you'd not want to be in um, contact with them a lot otherwise they could as close friend you. otherwise yeah, otherwise they could um, <coughs> persuade you to stop um, exactly because as well. friends have influence over yeah. you right <coughs> so if they have a bad influence You're which is possible which is possible because all you need is because um, uh, to good do, to do good deeds if you have people around you that are doing good deeds does it make doing that good deed easier or harder easier easier if people are doing bad deeds and you want to do good deeds, does it make good deeds easier or harder? Good deeds are harder because you Harder, influence. yeah? So if everyone else is doing it, it's easier. So friends are just like that. If they are d if they're up for doing good, you it will be much easier for you to do good. You know? If they are up for doing bad, it will be 
much easier for you to do bad. bad. So that's a very good point as well. Uh, let's take another call. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, caller. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, caller. Alaikum salam. What's your name and where are you calling from? Aswaf. And I'm in London. Sorry, what's your name again? Aswaf. Azraf. Yes. And what would you like to do? Huh? What would you like to do in the show today? What would you like to do? Sorry, I, I, I'm not hearing the call fully. Uh, please do try and call us again, inshallah. <coughs> okay, so we had a very, very interesting discussion. We'll have a little bit more. But first, can we hear a nasheed? Who is going to sing for us? Um, both of us are going to. Both of you are going to sing. What are you going to sing? Salam. Hmm? Salamun. Salam. What does salam mean? Anybody know? Peace. Peace, yeah. Um, okay, are you ready? Salamun, 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 salam. Salamun, 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 salam. Salamun, 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 salam. Salamun, 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 salam. We made peace a symbol of us. <coughs> the name of peace we gather here now. Oh Lord, please make these days of us on this earth filled with peace. Peaceful, 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 peace. Peaceful, 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 peace. Salamun 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 salam Salamun 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 salam Salamun 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 salam Salamun 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 salam So Lord indeed you are salam From you comes salam and with you is salam To you belong the command of all things between your hands are the hearts of all beings. Peaceful, 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 peace. Peaceful, 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 peace. Salamun, 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 salam. Salamun, 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 salam. Salamun, 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 salam. Salamun, 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 salam. Peaceful, 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 peace. Peaceful, 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 peace. Peaceful, 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 peace. Peaceful, 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 peace. Mashallah. Abdullah, would you like to join anything? Mashallah. 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 That was very nice. Uh, very nice voices, alhamdulillah. And very well sung. Um, uh, Samiha, uh, I would like you to prepare for another nasheed. Uh, so we <laughs> start thinking about it, inshallah. Um, and let's take another call. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Walaikum assalam. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Azfah and I'm calling from London. And what would you like to do today? You need to turn your TV volume down, please. What would you like to do today? I would like to say surah. I'd like to say routine. Okay, start inshallah when you're ready. A'udhu billahi minash rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Wattini waz
الدين أليس الله بأحكم الحاكمين جزاك الله خير for your brave call may Allah reward you keep trying inshallah to improve the recitation may Allah help you in that goal جزاك الله خير um, so coming back here uh, tell no sorry Abdullah you had a story to narrate yeah. what was your story about my story is about Hadil and Qadil and um, about um, jealousy mm -hmm. and of course um, we don't want jealousy in our lives. So um, altogether um, Hawa had 40 children, mm -hmm. um, so 20 twins okay, and one of the older ones were Qabil, mm -hmm. otherwise known as Cain in this language, mm. English, and one of the younger ones were Habil mm -hmm. and um, Hab um, Habil was um, known as a good-looking man mm. and Qabil was known as not so good-looking. Mm. But Qabil had a twin sister yeah. who was um, quite good-looking yeah. and um, Habil had a sister who wasn't really that good-looking. And the Sharia and law at that time, because of course there was only... There was only a few people around. Yeah, there were only mm. them people. That um, Sharia was that you had to, uh, you were not allowed to marry your own twin sister. You had mm. to marry... Um, um, uh, the from sister another from twin. another twin. Mm. So Habil was supposed to marry Qabil's twin sister and Qabil was supposed to marry um, Habil's twin sister. And so Qabil didn't like this idea and so they had an argument and Qabil said, I do not want to marry um, your twin sister, I'd rather marry my own twin sister, astaghfirullah. Mm. And so they went to Adam alayhi salatu wasalam and they said what, like, they were, they they spoke of this situation, and um, Adam was not happy at all, and he yes, no. told them about this, and he he also made dua to Allah, and Allah gave him like a solution. So he told them, um, t like Habil was a he was a shepherd, and mm. Qabil was <coughs> a farmer. Mm. So then. Um, they told he, Allah um, told them to uh, give a sacrifice, and at that time there were no poor people, yeah. so they had to put it on a mountain. And whoever's um, one was burnt, um, uh, the fire um, yeah. ate it. That was accepted by Allah. Mm. So then Habil gave the best animal. I think it was a ram or something. Mm. He gave the mm. best animal he had because he was a shepherd. Yeah. And Qabil gave very very bad like crops, crops his yeah. ro rotten crops yeah. crops and of course you could tell who whose sacrifice was accepted and when they came back soon they found um Habil's sacrifice was taken and then um Qabil got so like jealous yeah. he wasn't even thinking why his um um, um, um sacrifice wasn't accepted yeah. he was just like um uh, um Habil I'm going to kill you and wow. at that time like no one had died. No one got killed. Mm. But Shaitan had put it like in his heart, mm. the, uh, like and in his brain, uh, mind. To kill. Yeah, and he taught him how to kill. I see. So th at that time, no one knew how to kill. How how would you stop his breath? How do you kill him? Yeah, yeah. But um, Qabil um, um, threw a big rock or something, a huge, hard rock or something at him. But before this, um, Habil told Qabil that um, Allah. Uh, accept the sacrifice from those who are God fearing yeah. and if you want to kill me you can kill me but I will not raise a hand or a finger against you I will not fight back yeah mm. and <coughs> Qabil just threw a huge rock and he died instantly as soon as he died Qabil re regretted it and he mm. stayed with him for a while and then he soon went back to Adam uh, and told, um, he did not say anything he carried on with his day and uh, um, Adam asked what happened to um, Habil and then Qabil said I don't know and I don't care. Why should I ca um, care about him? Why should I know where he was? Mm. And then Adam knew what, um, like something bad had happened. And then later in the afternoon, Qabil went back to uh, um, Habil's body mm. and he was just grieving, grieving. And then Allah had like so much mercy, he just sent a sign. So mm. he sent two crows, yeah. one of them k dead, yeah. killed by the other crow yeah. and then that crow digging a grave yeah. and putting that crow and um, covering him and then um, Qabil thought yeah I can do this too so he dug a grave put a, um, Habil inside and covered him and that was like the first murder and first um, burial and then after that um, Qabil was too 
sad to go back to Adam and mm. he was like feared like what would happen yeah. so he went far away and that was the um, like he, he went very far away from Adam and that was um, the end of the story and this shows here yeah, that um, jealousy like can take you in such a like way like if you have if you're jealous over your friend yeah. it, <coughs> or jealous over someone mm. you could end up like slowly slowly gradually going on to different stages and then eventually reaching the worst stage which is either um killing them or like doing something even worse mm, a, a very important story and you've narrated it amazingly well alhamdulillah so um thank you and also you've drawn the lessons from this story uh indeed i mean we can relate it very well to our today's discussion about friendship right <coughs> um it's it's important that we have good friends. Uh, we aspire to be good like them if we have better friends, but don't have any jealousy for that, right? Yeah, jealousy so only of knowledge. So you, like, when they say jealousy of knowledge, like you don't go against a person. Yeah. You try and gain up um, yeah. knowledge, like kind of call, like. It's kind of, kind of like the story that we are reading, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. <coughs> Hannah and Zach. They are uh, <coughs> competing against each other. It's not that he's jealous of his sister, but he wants to do more. Mm -hmm. So he's trying to chase up, chase up continuously, trying to do. But he hasn't had much luck so far. Do you want to finish off the story, see what happened in the end? <coughs> Hannah, would you hand me my garden gloves? They are in the pocket of my sweater, Mama said. Hannah reached in the pocket of her mother's sweater. I found a packet of gummy bears. M maybe eat them. Their mother hesitated at first. Okay, share them with your brother. There are four for you and four for me, she said, giving the sweets to Zach. Hannah ate her four quickly. Zach chewed slowly. He wasn't very hungry. Mama, do you want my last gummy bear? I don't want it, Zach said sadly. I want it, Hannah said while digging in the garden with a hand shovel. It would be a good deed, Zach thought for a moment. He hadn't earned a good deed all day. Okay, you can have it. Zach started to hand his last gummy bear to his sister. Then something terrible happened. <laughs> okay. Hannah pulled the shovel out of the garden to reach for the candy. A huge wet wriggled worm flew through the air and landed on top of Zach's head. As he shook his head and frantically ran his fingers through the, his hair to get it off, the gummy bear fell in the dirt. No one could eat it now. <laughs> there goes that good deed, Zach said. Poor Zach. I just can't get a good deed today, Zach said sadly. Mom, Mama smiled. But you did do a good, de good deed. How can I get a good deed? I never gave my gummy bear to <coughs> Hannah, but you intended to give it to her, the mother explained. And that, that's what counts. The Prophet Muhammad said that whoever intends to do a good deed but does not do it still gets a good deed for his or her intention. A big smile appeared on his face. That means I've done four good deeds today. One for intending to give cookies to Ahmed's family. One for intending to bring Mrs. Ginger back home. One for intending to water the front lawn. And one for intending to give Hannah my last gummy bear. Is this a good deed? The father yelled, running directly at the man waving the sprinkler in his hand. It's a hot day, after all. Mama and Hannah screamed and ran inside the house. Zach ran straight towards his father. What a great day, Zach thought, even if things didn't go any, anything like I had planned. Wow, <laughs> incredible story, right? Did you hear the whole story? No. Okay, you have heard the whole story, isn't it? What are your thoughts on this story? Um, it's quite funny because like, each time he wanted to do something good, yeah. it never, um, like, he couldn't do it because something always terrible had happened <laughs> yeah but then what he didn't realize was that intentions also count yeah and so once he found out he <coughs> was very happy and he knew of course it didn't go the way he wanted it mm. but at least he got um, um he did good deeds like which was his main goal he wanted yeah, to do yeah, good yeah. Deeds. he did plenty of good deeds just having the intention that i want to do something good as long as you keep that intention you will get the reward once you actually do it you get more reward but having the good intention gets you reward automatically. But when you have an uh, intention to do something bad, do you get a bad deed? I'm not sure about that, no. You don't? Yeah. If you, you, get bad you, get, you get a bad sin if after you, you do it. But for intention, good deed intention, as long as you have it, you get reward instantly. Uh, what's, what, which one are you going to sing now? 
Tuala Al. Tuala Al. I thought you're going to do Bengali one. No. Okay. Do you know Tuala Al? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to join them? Sing together? No. Oh, no. Okay, then. You uh, see her singing. <coughs> you just see yourself. Okay, start, inshallah. <laughs> From the valley of Wada, and we owe it to show gratefulness where the call is to Allah. Ayyuhal Mabuthu Fina, Chittabil Amril Mutwa, Chitta Sharat Al Medina. Marhaban, ya khayrada. Thank you, Samiha. We, we are running out of time. That's why I'm going to stop. And just before we finish, I'm going to ask Abdullah to tell us. We talked about a lot. Of, we talked a lot about good friends. Just tell me very briefly, uh, you know, what makes a bad friend and how can you keep away from them? First of all, um, a bad friend can't be your friend because they're bad. Mm -hmm. um, second of all, um, uh, a bad friend won't always be there with you, and they won't. Um, correct you if you've done a mis if you made a mistake. There wouldn't be the mirror that we talked about. Yeah, there won't be the mirror, and also they will. They could backbite about people. They could do something haram. They could laugh about other people, even though they say it as a joke. And but backbiting is it? Um, big sin, isn't yeah, it? Big sin. Yeah, big sin. And if um, if it um, if something offends anyone, you should not do that. So they say it as a joke, but then it might offend the person, and they yeah. still carry on. So th a bad friend, um, like um, you know what a bad friend is and what yeah. a good friend is. So you have to make sure you keep away from the bad friends and stay, stay with the good friends. Very well said, mashallah. Uh, just think very briefly, think of a good friend and what they have done to you. Um, That's one example of good deed they have done to you. Or you have done a good thing to your good friend. Um, you have to be quick? Can you think of one? No. No, Samiha? No. Okay. Uh, thank you to all of you for being here. It's been such a pleasure to have you all. Um, I know, Samiha, you're not feeling too well, but still you sang very nicely. Jazakallah uh, khair. And to all of you, and to the previous uh, guests that we had in the studio, to everyone that at home listening to the show, uh, and everyone that called, Jazakumullah khair to everyone. It's been a fantastic uh, time having you. So Jazakallah khair. Next, uh, we should be back in another two weeks' time. Uh, until then, uh, look after yourselves. Um, you have half term holiday coming up. Uh, do as much good deeds as you can, inshallah, and meet as many good friends as possible. Visit your relatives, uh, visit your family. Those are also good deeds. Um, until then, look after yourself, and we'll take it from there. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.